What's up guys? It is still Saturday. We are still packing, but it's about seven o'clock and we need to take a break. Uh, I wanted to do a, a fun little video. Is it Friday? Oh, it's, it's Friday. And we are still packing and I wanted to take a little break and <laughs> wanted to do a fun video. So we're still sipping on beers that Kim brought us. Abby's gonna roll her eyes when I say this, but Kim gave me a morning glory. Uh, <laughs> we got two of them. So we're gonna try this out. She said she hasn't had this yet. So I'm gonna open this up. Abs, come here. There you go. Cheers to it still being Friday. <laughs> Good. I actually like it better than the other one. It's not as like juicy. Like you're used to an IPA being all orangey. Not that that matters. But in a twist of things, I thought I saw Mojo Desk has been putting out reviews on desk comparison. So I thought it'd be fun to do a review of a review. And what I do have here is Uplift 30 by uh, 48 top with their uh, or not Uplift Mojo's desk with their base. I have the uplift desk, uh, the V2 and the V2 commercial right here. So we are gonna watch the video and then we'll do basically the same test he does. Uh, Abs, if you wanna come over here, I just wanna show them all that. These are all level so the fucking X desk crowd can shove it up there. You know what? Don't, don't touch it because then it's gonna do the gimbal thingy. So. <laughs> there. Level, do right here, level. 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 Oh, that needs a little bit. What way do we need to go? This way? All right. How does that look? Uh, nope, still needs more. This way, okay. Freaking level Nazis. Alright. So that's gonna probably come up when we when we do this side. Yep, so, oh yeah, see that's off, so we gotta, there we go. Level. All right, and you know what, because they're gonna ask, let's just grab, we have a mid-range base over here. Our uh, Apex two leg mid range. Uh, it's just got a melamine top on it. Uh, we're looking at doing some melamine tops. Everyone else does it. So let's check that it's level. She's level. That's level. That's level. And I got a switch underneath here. All right, so let's do this. And uh, I'm just gonna, gonna declare it right now. This is for educational purposes, so good luck trying to copyright this Mojo desk. And I don't know how to do those super fancy things where they put it, you know, they overlap it, and I don't really care to do that, so we're just gonna do this. Hello everybody, Devin from Mojo Desk here, and today we are going to compare the Mojo Desk to the Uplift. This video is part of our ongoing series where we compare Mojo Desk to our competitors, and for links to those videos, check out the notes. So when you're shopping for a sit-to-stand desk, there are some really important factors to consider, and that is the frame and the stability of the frame. You don't want to shake. You also want to consider the work. Oh, Abby, let's, uh, can you grab a tape measure? 
Mm -hmm. We're gonna need that. Surface quality of the work surface and also assembly time. We're gonna cover all three of those today. So it doesn't matter what size of desk you get, it's gonna show up at your home or office in two boxes. So first box is gonna be the desktop and the second box, the entire frame shows up in this along with an easy to follow five step guide. That's true. If you want to look at it, uh, Abby installed the Mojo Desk today. We posted a video, so I don't know how people do that, but we posted a video of it. Uplift another. It was heavy though. Abby did say, but all of them are heavy. Shows up. The frame itself shows up in one, a two, three boxes, plus a rather long instruction guide. So. So what do all these boxes mean as far as assembly time? Well, this is gonna take you between unboxing and putting it together about an hour to an hour and a half. And a Mojo Desk is gonna take you about 20 to 30 minutes and has five steps. So I installed the Apex, or not the Apex, the Uplift, I'm sorry. And that takes me about 15 minutes, but that's me doing it. And I do them all the time. So I can't speak for this, but I can speak for that. Abby, who never has installed Desk, that took her about 53 minutes. Uh, again, check out the video, we posted it. So now let's talk stability. Last thing you want is a desk that wobbles and shakes when you're typing or, or leaning on it or anything like that. So you want a nice sturdy frame. And one of the factors for that is the thickness of the frame. So let's take some measurements. Okay, so we'll start with the uplift frame. It is a three stage lift leg is two and one quarter inch thick and the feet for the uplift desk is three and one quarter inch so mojo desk's frame on the other hand is two and three quarters inch thick for the leg and the feet are three and a half inches wide so another thing they don't show the other side this is the dumbest thing ever look at this abs will you measure this so check this out this is a square column and this is a rectangle column so this is the V2 commercial. Go ahead, Abby, what is that? Four, mm, three and a half. Three and a half. All right, so this is three and a half that way. And what is theirs? Two and three quarters. All right, so why don't you show that? Like, <laughs> measure this right here. Three and a half. All right, three and a half. Three and a half. Why is theirs different? Uh, secondly, they are saying that they're comparing the V2 and V2 commercial. They're two different bases. This is the V2 right here. This is a different base than that. You cannot just take off this crossbar and say, oh, it's the V2 base. That's not how it works. And, you know, ask anybody, a rectangle column is more stable than a square, just to get that out of the way. look at as well is how the legs connect to the feet. Uh, the uplift is connected at an L connection, meaning it's more to the back of the foot. Mojo desk, on the other hand, the legs connect dead center to the feet in a T formation for ultimate stability. That has nothing to do with anything. That's like total BS. Uh, if you're setting weight in the back, a C is going to be more stable. If you have it more balanced, a T is probably going to be more stable. There has been no scientific study that shows whether T or C is more stable. Okay, so now let's do a shake test. So both of these are at 43 inches high. And so I'm just gonna put the same pressure on both, but first we'll start with the uplift and on the leg. And as you can see in here, there's a lot of shake at this level. All right, so I am under the uplift desk right now. And this is the crossbar. So it comes in two pieces. The idea is to slide it together. There is a connection part in the middle to make it to the right, uh, extension and then you're supposed to attach it to both legs here as you can see this is a two-person job you're not going to be able to do this by yourself and since it's just myself and the photographer here i was going to show you that it's more stable when it's attached but again this is not a very uh, user-friendly connection but it will make it more stable pause the video dude take off the camera and or set it down and have the guy help you out and restart it. It's not that hard. Look at what we're doing. We can pause the video.
So now for Mojo Desk. So I've got a foot on the foot, and now I'm gonna put the same pressure on there. I mean, I'm actually pushing this more than I am able to shake it. Okay, so let's talk the work surface. This is All right, let's go through them. Abs, you're gonna be the model on this one. All right. Oh, whips off, whips <laughs> off clothing, no. So go ahead and go on the left side. And I think they're all close to the same height. 43 and a half, what he said. All right, so this is the V2, just normal one. Go ahead and just sh do whatever. Okay, a little too much. <laughs> just like not like, you know, don't move it, but just see if, if you can shake the top. All right, yeah. All right, let's do that with the mojo. I'm just so strong. Just so strong. Um, here, let's pull this out a little. Get your little body in there. All right, go ahead. How's it feel compared to that? About the same, honestly. All right, let's do the V2 or the commercial version. Go ahead, and slide that that way. All right, it's you like just. just bump it. Oh, we're, we're gonna. I don't know how to edit, so that stuff's staying in there. Sorry. How's that feel? This one feels better all right see when you put the bar on and you call it what it is it kind of helps all right you better not better not put the apex in bad name <laughs> <laughs> how's it feel great <laughs> <laughs> we're not even doing that because people are going to say we're so biased but yeah. so um Anyways, let's let's keep it going. Let's see what he's talking about. Left, and this is called walnut. That's the laminate on this one. Um, the texture is smooth, and so let's take a look at the edges. They're all straight on all sides, in the front and the back. Now this is their 60-inch version, and because of that, it has two grommets. So as you can see, the inside of it is not finished. You can see the particle board there. Um, and it does have these grommets that you just add in there to cover that up. So before we go on to the Mojo Desk, I did want to uh, show you that if you do like this darker wood grain look, the closest we have is we have the whole oak family. So we've got obsidian oak, which would be the darkest one. We have weathered oak, which has uh, tones of gray in it. And then we have American oak, which is our lightest one. All these have um, a wood feel as well. So for the Mojo Desk, this is our, called our organic curve. And it's called that because it has curves on the sides, on the back, and also all of ours, doesn't matter what style of motion desk you, you uh, purchase, the ergonomic edge in the front comes standard. That's really important for your wrist placement um, as opposed to just a flat front here as well. I did want to highlight too that all the wood that we use is from FSC certified forests. And as you can see, it's not particle board here and it's sealed. Also, all of our wood top. It's two different types. It is two different types of surfaces. Oh, I gotta go down before Abby says. It's two different types of surfaces. Okay, Uplift is using a laminate top with a particle board substrate. The reason they're using a particle board substrate is one, screws hold it into it better, and two, it's cheaper. It's not any less of quality. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of like, oh man, I don't know. I don't know of a good analogy, but like it's just as strong. And why would they use MDF board when screws tend to pull out of it? MDF board is used for uh, Mojo Desk because it's smoother on top. So the process of thermal forming, when they lay it, it's kind of like, uh, it, it's no different than laminate. It's kind of a flat sheet, but it's kind of got this, it's, it's super flexible. And they lay it on this board, uh, the substrate, the MDF board, and it goes in this thing that like vacuum pulls it down and it pulls it onto the board. That's why you see the circular radius has it where it folds down and that's how they get the edges. But the reason they have to use MDF is if they used HPL or melamine or whatever, or not that, I'm sorry, if they use particle board, when it sucks down on it, since particle board has bigger particles, 
you would visibly be able to see the particle board. It has nothing to do with what the substrate is. Um, I honestly prefer particle board because of the screw holding power. When people complain about, oh, I went to lift up my desk and the screws popped right out, it's because it's got an MDF core. Um, most things that come in from China are um, MDF cores because in China, particle board is not very good quality. Uplift uses particle board and theirs comes from China, so it's they must be sourcing it pretty well. Um, that said, uh, they should be sourcing their stuff from the US. Um, so good on Mojo Desk Part for sourcing in the US. Also a little side note, their desk is made in their desk is made in Vietnam and the control box is China. It's probably really China altogether and then shipped to Vietnam and relabeled to avoid tariffs. Everyone does it. So um, I mean, as far as made in Colorado, I don't I don't know. All right, back to it. Here are crafted here. Oh man. Right here in Colorado, just like my socks. Oh yeah. As opposed to Uplift's desktops, which are made in China. This is our 48 inch, so it just has one grommet in the middle. If it was a 60 inch, it would have two, just like theirs. All right, so let's talk cord management. Now, as you can see, the Mojo Desk looks a lot cleaner than the Uplift. Um, to be fair to the Uplift, it did come with uh, some baggies of zip ties to keep this wrangled. But the main thing about this is these are just the cords for the desk itself to run. We're not even thinking about all this cord management things that you see online to actually manage the devices that you add onto it. So let's look at how this one looks clean versus this one. So I'm gonna tip this over here. Okay, so to look underneath here, as you can see, there's no real system of hiding all these. You're gonna need those zip ties I showed you in those baggies to hide them or kind of shove them all up, up in here. Um, the other part that it is included is this little plastic piece cord management, but it's not really for the cord management of the cords that are on the desk itself. It's more for things you're going to add on later. Okay, so Mojo Desk, on the other hand, has an entire cord management system built in. And this is not anything extra, it's standard. So this steel... This is really nice. It's super, super nice, actually. I really thought it was uh, clever. I might just steal that from them. Um, all it is is bent metal. This ain't that great of a view. So it just has this little 90 degree and then the screws just hold it down. It's not even really um, on it. And honestly, by the time anyone sees this video, I guarantee Uplift's probably gonna have their own version of this too. Um, the Uplift desk, I mean, he should have used them. We didn't use them, the, you know, the tie downs and what, but I mean, I do really like the system. I will say it's nice. Um, yeah, I mean, good on you guys. right here holds all the cords of the desk itself that's the cords going to the motors of the on the legs and for the power cord so nothing is hanging including the hand control all right so let's talk price so first up uplift this is their walnut laminate 60 by 30 with a commercial grade called c2 frame that's supposed to be more stable than their regular one and it has that crossbar that we showed you that we didn't install and this one is base price 709. And then if you want to get the hand control that has four presets and an LED display, that'll set you back another $30. As well as that little piece of plastic cable management bit we showed you down here, that'll be another $20 too. So out the door, you're looking at 760. All right, so now let's talk Mojo Desk. So first I'm gonna hit on some things that come standard with any Mojo Desk, doesn't matter what size, style, they always come included, no extra charge. Ergonomic front edge all sizes commercial grade frame same frame with all of our desks the led display and the four programmable presets for the hand control no off charge now this one that we're showing is the 48 by 30 organic curve i'm going to quote you the 60 by 30 though so everything you see here just imagine that one foot wider is going to be 6.99 and free shipping so there you have it the comparison review of mojo desk versus uplift so, for more comparison reviews, please check the description below for links. And one more thing I should add is Mojo Desk is the only standing desk on the market that is Lumberjack approved. That's so dumb. All right. So, 
Abby, will you take over? I mean, my thoughts on the Mojo Desk is, I mean, I think it's overall a nice frame. I do like that they're like soft feel surface. Um, they're using a different, we'll call it a technology in terms of how they apply their surface. Um, again, I don't really think what he's saying about the laminate, I mean, they're two different surfaces. That'd be like me putting a hardwood desk here and me saying hardwood is so much better than that. I mean, it's, it's, it's different. Uh, the square column, so let's raise this all the way up. Their, their desk does seem to be pretty quick. Uh, this goes a tad bit higher. Let me measure it. I'm gonna measure to the, the top of the frame, not the work surface. All right, so we're at roughly, roughly 50. It's just under, and this one is roughly 48 and a half. So this goes up an inch and a half more. Hey, shocker, guess what? It's gonna wobble. There's gonna be a lot of side to side. There's gonna be more, uh, so here is one issue, you know, I should have put our top on here and just did, cause I have more of these and did a true comparison because the 48 is gonna perform better than a 60. So one, I guess, bad on Mojo desk is not comparing the same sizes. That said, look, it, it shakes up here. It moves. All of them are going to do that, except the Apex Pro. Uh, let's bring this back down. It does seem to move pretty quickly, which is nice. Let's see how it does with some weight. No problem with 160 pounds on a good day. I'm skinny though. All right, so let's bring it back up to, not a huge fan of their controller though. I'm not a huge fan of any touches that are like this because it seems like you always have to press it more than once to get it to actually register. I mean, it is a good looking one. One point Abby made is this is only really for the 48, probably the 60, it probably fits. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, it's got shake. It's, it's, it's really sturdy, I think. I mean, this has shake. I mean, we're, you're, I'm putting force into it. I'm trying to get it to move. I think this has way more side to side than he's acting though. I mean, they're both super tight. It's not like you can push it far. It, it, it wants to come back. I'm not even gonna do our desk because people are gonna, people are gonna say something, but I don't see movement on that. Or we're gonna have side to side, just like theirs. Man, I gotta get somebody to come in and do that because this mid range, I mean, I can get it to do that. But I'm not gonna get it to shake like this guy. That, again, we're, we're not even gonna do that. So um, overall, I think the Mojo Desk is nice. I think their marketing approach is uh, worse than uh, <laughs> Axe Desk uh, accusing uh, B-Todd, but um, you know, nothing about a square column and T makes it commercial. Um, <laughs> their whole little, let me measure the side here is stupid. I mean, measure the whole, the whole unit. Uh, I haven't had a chance to take it apart. I mean, literally, Abby installed it today. Uh, the one thing that is nice is they do have it where you install the motor housing straight on, so you don't have to worry about going in from the side. So that is definitely nice. Um, however, with it said, with that said, it definitely took way longer than uh, 15 to 30 minutes for Abby to do it. Um, I probably could have done it under 30. But again, that's, <laughs> that's what I do these all day. Um, it, I don't get why they knowingly 
said that, you know, this is the V2 and then just slapping on the bars makes it a V2 commercial and not why they would not just pause the video and say, hey, we installed the bracket. Uh, it is a two person job. I mean, uplift, you could easily just use these types of screws, have them where they come out, that thing slides in and drops down uh, and you could figure that out really easily. So uh, I'm sure in a few months they'll do something like that. Anyways, um, I mean, it's nice that it comes with a programmable switch standard. The fact is when you buy these overseas in China, this right here is like two bucks and this is like five bucks. So when they're buying them overseas, that like makes sense to just say, hey, we'll just spend $3 more because then we can say ours automatically comes with a programmable. Everyone does it once again. Um, the, I think they're using, this reminds me of a T-Motion switch. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. I can't say with 100% confidence, but the top is made in Colorado or somewhere in Colorado. Uh, well, yeah, that would be in Colorado. The base definitely is not. Um, that said, it's been a long day, guys. We still have a ton of packing to do. We'll have something like 80 bases going out Monday, if not more. Uh, but we got to get home because Abby works tomorrow, and I guess I do too, but... Anyways, cheers guys.